In today's episode, we would like to discuss which cruise missile is more powerful, Tomahawk or Caliber. Since the early 1990s, the United States has relied on Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from their warships and submarines. The missile with a flight capability of 550 miles per hour has been involved in wars in the Middle East, North Africa, the former Yugoslavia, and Afghanistan. The first cruise missile was launched from the USS Merrill, DD-976, an American destroyer ship, in March 1980. In June of the same year, the UGM-109, the underwater version of the Tomahawk system, ran an armament test. The development of the military project lasted for two more years until 1983, when the missile system passed into service. The Tomahawk cruise missiles were first used in Iraq during 1991 and became a symbol for the American idea of non-contact warfare. When the U.S. first tried out the Tomahawk missiles during the Operation Desert Storm, the Western media strongly praised its combat results. However, in 1992, the New York Times and the Washington Post published an official report on the U.S. Department of Defense, which described the lessons learned by the U.S. military during the Gulf War and showed the real state of events including the true capabilities of the Tomahawk. Tomahawks can strike targets at distances over a thousand miles away, making them very popular. However, now the Tomahawk has a strong competitor from Russia, the Kaliber missile. It is regarded as an essential and distinguished capability for a naval power to have the ability to attack long-distance strategic targets located in the depths of the land. Until 2015, it was thought that only the USA and Britain had this capability since they had Tomahawk cruise missiles. However, the United States and the United Kingdom are no longer the only nations with long-range cruise missile engaging capability. Russian military forces first used the Kaliber missile system in Syria. The missiles were launched from warships and submarines at stationary targets. On October 7, 2015, the Russian Gepard-class frigate Dagestan and the three small Buyan-class corvettes sailing in the Caspian Sea fired 26 missiles at 11 ISIS targets in three Syrian governments, Al-Raqqa, Idlib, and Aleppo. The target distance was over 1,500 kilometers. The targets included weapon factories, command centers, ammunition warehouses, weapon storages, fuel depots, and terrorist training camps. On 20 November 2015, the Caspian Fleet warships launched another 18 Kaliber cruise missiles at seven terrorist targets in the same regions. The Kaliber missile system has been tested in real combat conditions. It is too early to estimate the cost of one missile and one launch, but the new Russian cruise missile has shown strong potential. Kaliber missiles are currently deployed on Russian Navy Kilo-class submarines and more modern types, including the Akula, Lada, and Yasin classes. They are also deployed on frigates and corvettes, but so far have not been fitted on larger vessels, though such upgrades may eventually take place. While a Russian Gepard-class frigate is armed with only eight caliber missiles, a missile-armed destroyer would be able to carry dozens. There are well over a dozen different variants in the caliber missile family, varying in launch platform, range, target profile, and speed varying in length from 6 to 9 meters, but all packing a 990-pound warhead or a nuclear payload. The land attack variants, the 3M14T and the 3M14K, appear to lack the boost to Mach 3 on terminal approach. In compensation, the inertia-guided missiles have a range of between 1,000 and 1,500 kilometers. Guidance is INS, GPS, and Digital Scene Matching Area Correlation DISMAC, whereby images are taken during the flight by an onboard camera for comparison with stored ones. The Russian Navy has been planning to upgrade 3M14 Kaliber cruise missile with a longer range Kaliber M variant with a maximum firing range of more than 4,500 kilometers. Now let's see the Tomahawk missile. The Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic cruise missile primarily used by the United States Navy and Royal Navy. Tomahawk cruise missile is capable of navigation by an inertial navigation system, GPS-enabled precision strike, flies at very low altitude, and reprogrammable during flight to change target. Guidance is GPS, INS, terrain contour matching TURCOM navigation. This system compares the terrain underneath the cruise missile with mapping data stored inside the missile to detect deviations from its nominal trajectory. 
15 alternative pre-programmed targets can be held before flight or acceptance of a new target in flight. Delay and loiter option. Battle damage assessment via two-way data link. Tomahawk missile can take reconnaissance pictures after reaching a designated area and send them to the HQ via SATCOM and wait for the instructions. It can be loitered until the target is clear to engage. With DISMAC digital scene mapping, a picture of a discrete target can be uploaded in a confined region and have Tomahawks specifically find and hunt them down. With the modification of Block 5, Tomahawk has increased capabilities, which integrate new Seeker, hitting the surface targets, more than 1,000 miles range, greater penetrating power, less susceptible to jamming of its Seeker, and communication and navigation striking the target under the GPS taken down conditions. The question is, which cruise missile is more powerful, Tomahawk or Kaliber? The Kaliber suite was designed to compare favorably with Washington's prolific but aging Tomahawk cruise missiles. Whereas the original Kaliber 3M14 traded performance blows with the Tomahawk's Block 4 revision in what amounts to an approximate draw tilted slightly in Kaliber's favor. Kaliber M drastically outranges its US counterpart at 4,500 against 1,700 kilometers. The most significant advantage of the 3M14T and its family is that they can be fired from a wider variety of smaller ships than the American ones that usually carry the Tomahawk, making it easier to deploy. It is also being developed to fire from fixed land bases, vehicles, and aircraft. Calibre may not have some of the advanced loitering and interactive data link capabilities of the current Tomahawk, but that might well make it cheaper to mass produce, in addition to parts commonality with family variants. Where Tomahawk likely outclasses Kaliber is ECM capability. While Tomahawk's four-block revision included electronic counter-countermeasures, the Kaliber family is relatively susceptible to jamming techniques. With the modification, Block 5 Tomahawk has improved its capabilities. Its networking capabilities are beyond that of most operational cruise missiles by a long margin. So, it is impossible to make a complete comparison between two missiles with limited knowledge about Kaliber cruise missiles at this stage. The Tomahawk has over 30 years of proven combat effectiveness, while the Kaliber only appeared in 2012. The Tomahawk has been regularly upgraded and improved, and is renowned for its accuracy. But Russia does not make public the accuracy or reliability of the Kaliber missiles it has fired. Anyhow, Russian Navy has gained a strategic capability with Kaliber cruise missiles. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.